kidding me? That all of this financial burden with my children is on me? I just want you to know that I know. Nevea is not mine. These results were prepared by DNA Diagnostics, and they read as follows. You are shaking. I, I know. <laughs> I feel your nervousness from here. Are you okay? Yes, Your Honor, I am, I'm perfect. Okay. I just want to get it out there. I want to know the truth. I, she deserves it. She deserves that big thing. In the case of Benning versus Bodine, when it comes to 23-month-old Robin Benning, it has been determined by this court. Mr. Benning, you are not the father. I'm very sorry. It doesn't matter. I'm still going to be there. Mr. Benning, what are your hopes? I hope Jermaine's mine. I, I really do. Um, it'd be good to know at least one of my kids is mine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I, I'm looking forward to spending all the time I can with him. All right. Well, let's get these results. In the case of Benning versus Bodine, when it comes to six-month-old Jermaine Benning Jr., it has been determined by this court. Mr. Benning, you I mean, I'm just looking for you to say anything. What do you have to say for yourself? I mean, did this man just pop on the scene out of nowhere? And it's like, ah, I mean, I just had kids, but he wants to be here. This man looks like he's been in their life for a long time. I mean, maybe the first one is like, well, he came on the latter end of me having my child or I just had my baby. And he, that's when we met. OK, I've been raising this little girl as as my own since she was a baby. But the, the second one, <laughs> what, are we do, what are we doing? What are modern women doing out here? Oh, I'm so sorry, Mr. Benning. I got cribs and playpens and toys. and I've done everything that I do. And Ms. Bodine. Do you know who Jermaine Jr.'s father is? No, Your Honor. I didn't know that was going to come out like that. Well, you know, I've just come out of a marriage, and my life is really just all over the place, and it's a lot. I mean, it's a lot for me, so it'd be a lot for a potential partner to have to deal with me. And, I mean, like, I literally think that... Last week, I had some sort of mental breakdown, but I'm fine again now. Camp County man claims a major triumph in his three-year quest to protect men from paying child support for children they didn't father. Last year, he helped change Georgia law, and today his work was put to the test with his own future on the line. Fox 5's Lisa Crane has the story. Okay, the first case is Tony Odom versus Carnell Smith. But it was a case that didn't make it into open court. After years of fighting, a judge today ruled Carnell Smith was not responsible to pay child support to a child he did not father. Almost three years ago, a DNA test proved that the then 11-year-old girl he had thought was his own was not his child. But in Georgia, that didn't mean the end of his own obligation to financially support that child. Smith turned his case into a crusade and helped shape paternity fraud legislation that passed last okay. year. Today, his case was the first to test 
passed the new law, and in chambers, the judge terminated his parental rights and obligations. I feel this is a major victory for, for, for defrauded victims everywhere. There were a lot of people watching this case, like Reverend Randall Robinson. Through DNA testing, he discovered that some of the children he had always thought were his own weren't. In a previous marriage, and uh, two out of the three children are, are not mine. At that time, I still was ordered by the court to pay child support. And this is the... But, but they keep on telling me, some of these women keep on telling us how men cheat far and away much more at a higher rate than women do. That's what they keep on telling me. I don't know if you've heard anything different. I'm just wondering where they're getting their statistics from. Far and away. You far and away cheating on being smart because you're stupid. You far and away cheating on having some common sense because you're ignorant. That's what I can say on national television. And these women watch, what was that? What was that show called? Yellowstone? Where, uh, I forget the young man's name. I call him a young man, a man older than me. Dealing with a woman. She acting a fool. I just love the way he treats her. No matter how crazy she acts, he still puts up with it because he knows that, you know, she's crazy sometimes, but she still needs love. Stupid. She needs to learn how to control her emotions. She needs to learn how to act like she has some common sense and go sit down somewhere. Embarrassing a man on national television is what I mean to say. That's my point. Embarrassing him on national television. The reverend. And then you got this young man, this man right here that fought for it, signed it into law, absolved of his duties of having to parent a child that's not his. On national television, embarrassed them. <laughs> what, what, what's going on with these guys? They not taking their care. They, Papa was a rolling stone. They not taking care of their responsibilities. Actually, it's not my responsibility to take care of. She was out here messing with other dudes and couldn't figure out which one it was because she was messing with so many. Interesting. But they want you to have emotional intelligence. They want you to have social intelligence. They want you to read the room. the first real test of this new legislation, but it appears right now that even after a man proves he is not the biological father, he must still come to court to end his child support obligation. Smith says there's still work to be done in Georgia. We're going to ask that there be a truth in pregnancy disclosure that we believe that mothers who know there's more than one person that could be the child's father should be required to make that declaration before the court in the very first hearing. In DeKalb County, Lisa Crane, Fox 5 News. Carnell Smith is also working on similar legislation in more than 20 other states and in several other countries. He says he would still like to have contact with the now 14-year-old girl he thought was his daughter, but he says that's up to her mother. Are you kidding me? That all of this financial burden with my children is on me? What? This is not fair. When a man shows you who he is, you have to believe him. When anybody shows you who they are, you have to believe them. Like he doesn't have to bring nothing to it? Nothing? That's the that comes with being a woman that is so right or die about love. Right up. Man, this is up. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Learn your partner before you, you jump ahead and fall in love with the words and all of that stuff that make up this fairy tale. Because when no one's looking, that's when everything just goes left. Financially, the kids are my responsibility. I have primary custody of them. Damn. But I'm strong and I'm here. I will always believe in love. Love is real, but I'm going to take time to love on me and pour on me. And I want to learn this new woman that I am. This woman that has learned to emotionally be in control. And to be financially in control as well, because you need to be paying for them kids, the doctor's appointments, dental appointments, eye surgeries or anything that they need. God forbid. Anything that they need. You want to take them to private school? Financially responsible. 
You want them to go to these theme parks and whatever amusement you want them to have extra, put them in all those extracurricular activities to keep them out of trouble or the best you can because the financial burden is on you. So love on yourself, but also love on them kids with your new financial responsibility. I love that. So heartfelt. Ms. Laura? Yes, ma'am. You brought this case before the court. What's going on? I'm trying to get my baby back. Okay. My, uh, I had, so I have two babies. Okay. And, um, I had, a, I just had another baby with my boy. He's not my boyfriend anymore, but he, he my first baby. So Houston got to take him and I want him back because I don't, I'm not with that boyfriend anymore. So Houston took the baby or you lost the baby? Either way, Houston has the baby and I want it back. No, it's not either way. It's you, you lost the baby. So did somebody intervene and take the baby away from you? And yes, the ma'am. They took the baby yep. and gave him to Houston. Okay. And I want him back. Okay. And you have a new baby with your ex-boyfriend? Not ex-boyfriend, ex. Ma'am. Did the court assign you some classes to take before you can go through steps of even visiting your child? Did you follow what the court recommended you do before you gain access to your child that was taken away from you? This is a very serious matter that once, of, once again, of course, modern women don't pay attention to because they just don't care. And that's why she had to ask her that question again. Did you give the child up or did they take the child from you? All they took is the, the same. No, it's not the same. And you know, it's not the same. Tell me what I need to know so we can go on here, get up out here and go to lunch. Boyfriend. So you you guys are no longer together. Correct. Ma How does this new baby? How old's the new baby? Yes. Like eight months. And you're done with him after eight months? Yes, ma'am. OK. I was done with him like 10 months ago. The baby's eight months. Oh, OK. So before the baby was born. Yes, ma'am. Did he come to the birth of the child? No, I didn't want him around. Oh, okay. All right. So you now want to get custody back from? Him? Yes, ma'am. Okay. From Houston. Who does the baby live with? Me. The baby? No, my baby lives with me. No, not your child. The How many children do you all have between you? Just one. Just one. And the child lives with him? Yes, ma'am. And you want the baby back? Yes, ma'am. How long has the baby lived with you? The baby? He's been yeah. living the whole time. Oh. Okay, and how old is this child? Five. Five, oh. And you expect to get child support? Yes, ma'am. And the child has been living with him for almost, Perfect. it's a boy or girl? Boy. His whole life? Yes, ma'am. Well, when I get my baby back, I want child support, yeah. He makes way more money than I do. I want my baby back and I want child support. I'm sorry, you have to excuse me because nothing you're saying is making sense right now. You came to court to ask me to give a child back to you that was taken from you, that's five years old, that's pretty much lived with this man the entire time that he has been they took, taken care of. They and took my baby pay. away because my ex-boyfriend is not I'm not with him anymore, so I want my baby back. Right, but the child hasn't been living with you. The child has been living with him. Yeah, because of my ex, and I'm not with my ex anymore. Uh, yeah, so no, it doesn't work like that. It doesn't work like that. He would literally have to have given you the child back, and then you come in here, and you, after you've been having the child for some time, then you come in here and say, Judge, I want this to be changed. I've been having the child this entire time. I want him to pay child support. That would be a little bit more reasonable. But what you're asking for today is very unreasonable. Okay, well give me my baby back and then I'll come back in a while and ask for child support. Well, I can't give you your baby back because I never took your baby, okay? Actually, nobody really took your baby. You lost your baby for, for your own negligence with your ex-boyfriend. That has nothing to do with me, okay? Now, fill me in over here. The baby was placed with you after the boyfriend hit the baby. Yep. And he's been living with you ever since then. Yep. You've been taking care of him. Mm-hmm. You pay for everything for the child. Everything. What does she do? Uh, I visit. She, she visits unsupervised. Okay, congratulations. Financially, what does she do? Uh, oh, financially? Yeah. Hmm. Nothing. 
Oh, that's what I figured. Okay, I see what's going on here. Yeah, and I'm not about to play this game with you. You're the one that's going to pay him child support. That's what? what? We yeah, you are. He makes like three times as much money as I do. I have to give him my money. Um, it's for the child, so yes, you do. You do. But the good thing is, it's based on your income. You'll get credit for the other child that you just, your eight month old, you'll get credit for that child. Okay. But yes, you are going to pay him child support. That's just the right thing to do. It's one child between the two of you, okay? And health insurance, I'm assuming you pay it. Yes. How much is it? 66 a month. $66, okay. I get it through my employer, so. Huh? I get it through my employer. Okay, gotcha. And how much do you make a year? $38,000. $38,000. So I have your gross coming out to $3,200. That brings your net to $2,648.01. Giving you credit for the other child that you have. Your child support obligation comes out to $423.69 plus the $66. You're going to reimburse him for health insurance every month. So $66. Add it to 463.69 is 489.69. 489.69? Did you need me to repeat it? I'm asking you, 489. I have to give him almost $500 a month? Yeah, that's how it works. Did you really think that I was going to have him pay you child support? No, I just wanted my baby. Oh, okay. So your first answer was no. So then you understand exactly why you have to pay child support. Is there anything else? No, ma'am. Okay. Nope. Now we can get out of here and get to lunch. We can go get something to eat. It's been a long day. And um, this is what happens when you hold modern women accountable. They're out here doing stupid stuff, saying silly stuff. I want my baby back. This is not Chili's, ma'am. You have to pay. You going to have to pay for it. Well, actually, if you go to Chili's, you're going to have to pay for the baby back ribs. So, Yeah. If you want your baby back, you're going to have to pay a little something. And because you were negligent and you allowed that man to do certain things and didn't get out of the situation or do something to put your pay, your baby in a better position, a safer environment, the court's going to look at it and say, this baby should not be with you. Maybe you gonna have to take a class, whatever it is, you gonna have to prove to the court that that baby is okay around you or else it's still supervised visits and you still have to support the child because that's yours, which is the child support and reimburse him for insurance too. appreciate it. Have a good day. She going to not, she's not going to like that, but that's what needs to happen. Anyway, this is a video from horizon. I'll give the uh, channel a like and a subscribe. Uh, and yeah, that's my opinion. I'll see you in the next video. I'm out.